Now, if you guys remember, inside our book.java, we have this method called addVim. So we're just going to use this method, addVim, for all of the all of the uh, Vim files in the Vim cache. So for int, we're not going to use an iterator. I don't feel like using an iterator. Int i equals zero. I less than Vim cache dot size i plus plus. Again, these are the basics. You guys should know this by now. We're going to uh, we have our book b b dot add vim and then our vim cache. Um, dot get i and this is now referring to an actual vim object we're going to add that vim object inside our book now that we're done there we're going to add our book to uh, our library so library dot add book B. And now we need to uh, update our log dog. Now we're going to update our uh, our log dog. So we're going to say add book panel dot get uh, text area log dot append text append. Um, we're going to add a new line plus and we're going to say uh, b dot get title plus space has been added to the library and we also need to set no 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 that's it that's it Okay, let's actually run our program now. Let's try adding a file to book first. Or no, no, without a file. Let's try adding without a file. One has been added to the library. Again, it's displaying the, uh, the title. Let me actually show you the title. Uh, change the title to say, uh, what's up? Oh, well, remember we just added the with ISBN 1? And look, hey, 1 already exists. Please use another ISBN. Let's use another ISBN. Let's do what he says. So 2, then what's up? What's up? All right, let's actually try adding a, uh, see if this method actually works. Add file to book. Nope, optional is not a valid file type. Let's actually browse for an actual file type. It's music. It's brown. Um, add file to book. Then it's going to say that. Then, can, can I add file to book again? Ah, ah. Now, in our add file to book, we forgot, or at least I forgot, to clear to clear both to make this this uh, text optional again, and also to 
to clear the uh, to set the the file to null. So let me do let's do that. Let's go back. Let's go back to uh, let's go back to our add vim file to vim cache. Let's go back to that here. And has been added to the book, and we also need to set get text field file dot set text to nothing. And we also need to um, Hmm. You know what, guys? Please follow along with me on this. Please, please follow along with me on this. This data, we declared it up here. I made a mistake. Don't do that. So just cut that. Let's go back down. Because again, we don't want other methods seeing this variable. We don't want other methods sharing this data variable. It's a dangerous thing. It's going to lead to a lot of bugs. We want to avoid. We, the one thing I one thing I know is we want to avoid bugs. And share variables only when necessary. So byte data is declared within this. So that we don't need to worry about about that. Now we also need to set the file when we're uh, let's go back down to our open chooser and set the vim file. Now this vim file needs to be uh, a class attribute because other methods need to need to know about this file. This file this this attribute needs to be shared. That's why we we're not just declaring it here. We're not declaring file vim file here. Why? Because this method up here, add vim file, needs to have access to that vim file. Right here. Um, and what we actually need to do is look for this vim file. Declared, it, declared that there. <coughs> 